Hi there, it's Sandra with Broom City Thrifts, and today I am at a new to me thrift store. It is a St. Vincent de Paul, and it's in Waterford, Wisconsin. So I traveled just a bit to try this one out. Never been here before, so have no idea what to expect. So let's get in there and let's hit it. When I first walked into this store, I noticed that they had cabinets set up right at the entranceway or right close to it that were um, labeled vintage. So they had a whole bunch of collections of vintage items. And so I just panned to show you really quality things here. This is a Shawnee planter with a deer. It is so sweet. I've seen this on other thrifters stores before and I just love the color of the the glazes I it's lovely piece they're asking $20 that's not unreasonable and it may even have room for for profit for reseller but uh, you know me I like to source pretty cheap here's another very sweet shiny item it's a skunk and so cute I think this one was about $15 and oops I caused the price tag to fall off onto the floor so I'm looking like where is it where did it go back to the ceramic figurines this panda bear is really sweet with the bamboo and the baby panda but no I have to look for that price tag the next shelf over had more glassware and lots of sets which is very cool I'm giving you a slow pan of the different shelves here and some of the different items. And then the first thing that I want to pick up is one of these trays here, which are yellow depression glass. Both of them are etched and one of them was about $5, which is reasonable for resale. Then I looked at these etched yellow depression glass sherbet cups. I thought that square bottom was super interesting. And then this vase for $15 encased glass has a dramatic white flower at the top. I thought that was really pretty. Up here on this top shelf, and excuse my finger, I spotted this box of shot glasses and it is an Elvis collection. It is by a company called Evandale. On eBay, these sell in such a wide range, everything from $8 to 20. This box is priced at about $6, and I decided to leave it behind for an Elvis fan. Nearby, I saw another shelf full of vintage delights. This is a Ceramic Apple by Urfila, which is a Czechoslovakian company. It's a condiment jar, missing its spoon, but it was quite nice. Next to it was this lovely lusterware, Japanese lusterware with beautiful peonies painted on it and a peach and periwinkle glaze. And there's my finger. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, on the lower shelf, I noticed this interestingly designed serving tray. You can fold out those sections, the wooden serving sections, and in the center, there is a ceramic cheese board. I thought that was very pretty as well. On this shelf, the first thing that I pick up is this beautiful transferware vegetable or serving dish with the heavy gilding and below it on the shelf below it I noticed this carnival glass bowl it's got an orange or sometimes I think it's called marigold color uh, what I like about it is it, it it's pressed glass with a clear bottom but what I like about it is that pattern in the center with those curled swirls with texture on them I think that's really pretty and for only four dollars I think there is room for profit with that bowl I like the look of these dishes this dish set this is Blue Ridge pottery with a yellow 
happy flower with very bright green leaves. Very pretty. I think I think they're wanting to sell it as a set here, but if I were to pick up any of these items for resale, of course I'd be separating the pieces from the set. I thought these cups and saucers were really cool. It's a hand blown. It's got kind of a, I don't know how to describe it, a mottled, bubbly, kind of thick green glass with a gold rim, matching saucers. They have them for $5 each for the set. I thought those were really stunning, but I did not decide to pick them up. On this shelf, I spy, yes, these are lizards. I've been on a lizard hunt for a while, but actually not these kinds of lizards. I think this is super cool though. These are hand carved lizards. It looks like fighting lizards. And they are in a lightweight wood, not signed, but I like the grain on the back, as you can see. I like the fact that they're in this unique configuration and I think that's pretty interesting. So I decide I am going to take the, that pair of lizards. On this shelf, I first noticed this bottle. I thought it might have been a bit older than it in fact was. A little brass bell here. I picked up this ceramic cup that is made by Syracuse, which I associate with restaurant wear. I will pick up Syracuse when it has geometric designs. Back here, I noticed this sculpture. I thought it was pretty nice and interesting. It's a woman sort of kicking back, reading a newspaper. She's got a cat playing under her chair, a dog at the front. It's definitely early 20th century, and as you saw on the underside, it is a Norman Rockwell piece called Sitting Pretty. It is a remake in the 1990s of a of a either a painting or a something from Rockwell from back in the 20s. Over by the frames, I pick out this metal and enameled Holly Berry Christmas frame. I really love the design and I do look for enameled frames. I do quite well with them. The back is has a velvet cardboard backing, which means it's a higher quality piece. And so I am going to take this with me. It goes in my cart. As luck would have it, nearby I saw yet another metal and rhinestone frame. These ornate frames do very well for me. This is a Michaels brand, but it has the felted back and I pop that in my cart as well. Decide to look for more. Here is a pretty glass frame with some roses in the design. Down below, I am scanning and I find quickly this frame, which is another enameled frame. It's got silver accents on the interior and the exterior of that inner rectangle, which is enameled with a sort of a creamy, very, very light yellowy green color to it. But it's just very pretty, very classy, and I'm taking that one too. Well, this was a pleasant surprise at this store. I like the what they did with their note cards. They packaged their cards in clear cellophane and told you what was in there. So that said, 12 blank cards. And here I've already picked up a whole bunch of different sets. You know, I use a lot of cards in my eBay business and I like these smaller blank cards or thank you cards. And these are really pretty. So I was really, really happy to find all of these sets. Those were coming with me. Well, I realized I didn't do a really good job giving you all a sense of the breadth of the store, all the different idols and items. There was furniture there, there was, you know, clothing, but next time I'll do better. So cart review time, there are all these sets of cards, the boxes of cards, there is the small, metal and rhinestone frame, the enamel and metal kind of Art Nouveau frame, and the uh, enamel and metal um, Christmas frame. Those are, I think, I was really happy with those pickups. 
I really do like these battling lizards or iguanas, whatever they are. I thought that was cool. And I think this is a really pretty piece of carnival grass, glass. I do not usually pick up carnival glass, but in this case, I was moved to do it. I also picked up some fun costume jewelry, these yellow earrings for, I wear a lot of yellow actually, for um, when I'm wearing something that goes with yellow. And then these, these are a nicer quality. These are black stone earrings with metal accents on the inside. So there you have it. Okay, well I had a good time learning a little bit about the Waterford St. Vincent de Paul store. I would say that this is set up to be kind of like in between an antique store and a thrift store. Clearly the people who run it know their, know their vintage and um, collectibles. And so there wasn't a whole lot of room for me for profit and reselling, but that's okay. I still had fun looking around, saw some very cool things. And uh, yeah, so like my channel, subscribe and comment, come back again. Thrift on friends, we will do this again soon.